Football is the national sport of Scotland. Supporting Scotland is a tedious task, but with every strike to our iron chins, we rise again to say, is all you've got. And as we stomp our way towards our first major tournament since Piers Brosnan was James Bond, our kilts pulled as high as our hopes, we take a look back at the fierce battles and the times that our country's strength was questioned as we ultimately f***ed it. We stumbled into Euro 2000 dreaming of a blue and white glory. And as Don Hutchison buried one past David Seaman, Wembley erupted. Hutchison scores! The Seaman is all over the place. But unfortunately, we'd f***ed it. Euro 2008. Walter Smith and Tommy Burns brought some much needed national pride back to Scotland with a team that fought with passion and grit. And it was on a cold night in Paris, we took on a formidable force of Le Bleu. Scotland once again looked into the belly of the beast and defiantly proclaimed, Mon nom. And it was James McFadden from 40 yards Picked the ball out of the sky and with a ferocious swing of his left boot, rifled home the winner and also rifled home hope to every beating Scottish heart from Coatbridge to Cancun. James McFadden with one of the best strikes ever, surely from the halfway line. And finally at Hamden, as Barry Ferguson leaped towards a parried Buffon shot and rifled it into the net, we started to believe again. Hamden erupted the only way Hamden can. Scotland were going to their first major tournament in 10 years. F*** it. On the 11th of October 2008 at Hamden Park, and as the sun split the trees on that late autumn day, Stephen Naismith spotted an unmarked Chris Willemo and rifled a low cross to him as he was three yards out, an open goal. And then he royally, magnificently, outlandishly, supercalifragilistically f***ed it. It's been 22 years since we last seen Scotland at the world stage of football. A lot has changed since we've seen John Collins wrestle one past Taffarel on that blistering hot day in Paris. But Steve Clark has given us a team that can really reclaim our place at the top table, at the top leagues, with the big boys. And with the games being in home soil, it's a real chance to really wash away any pain and really bring back the glory to these haunting stands steeps in football history. I love just f*** it. Three yards. Three f***ing yards. They had Gary O'Connor. Gary O'Connor with the winners of the World Cup. 